How do you get a massive boat off of a trailer? I received a lot of questions about how did I get such a large boat off of the trailer? I don't have a crane at Motor City Boat Works, and I don't have a large forklift or a travel lift to get the boat off the trailer. So I had to come up with a way to basically do it yourself and get this massive boat off of the triple axle trailer. Real quick, a little bit of background. The boat was stored for a number of years, about 30 miles from my house, in a parking lot, like where you store an RV. I had it covered up, and uh, it was on the trailer, waiting to be brought uh, to Motor City Boat Works once I got the boat when shop it came built. Time to trailer the boat to the boat shop, I used my Ford E150 van. Uh, it's a 2011 model, and it has a towing capacity of about 65, 7,500 pounds with a class four hitch. Now the boat at the time was completely empty. There's nothing inside of it. There's no windows, there's no engine, there are no systems, there's nothing inside of it. It's just a bare hull. And it weighed approximately 4,200 pounds. The trailer weighs about another 2,000 pounds. And I was able to bring the boat the 30 miles to the boat shop and back it into the building. And then the question became, how do I get the boat off of the trailer? It needs to be off the trailer because I'm going to be working on it for an extended period of time. And I also need to be able to work on the trailer separately, painting, redoing the brakes, and taking care of some electrical. One of the reasons I wanted to get the boat off of the trailer was so that I could put it on boat stands and have the boat level to the ground so that when I install the systems and begin doing work on the inside of the boat, everything is already parallel to the ground. I experienced some problems in the past where I left the boat on the trailer and tried to work on the inside of the boat and everything was always off because it was never parallel to the ground. I searched far and wide on the internet trying to come up with a solution, do it yourself to be able to get the boat off the trailer. I debated building a type of gantry or maybe an A-frame lifting mechanism or even renting a small crane to be able to hoist this thing off of the trailer and put it into the boat shop. While I was debating building a hoist myself, I came across one that was already being sold on the internet. It's a company called GoHoist.com. Now, I hadn't received any type of compensation from them. I'm just telling you my experience of using their product. It worked out pretty well. The Go Hoist is an A-frame type of uh, lifting mechanism, uh, and they advertise their largest size to be able to lift five tons. That's 10,000 pounds, but you gotta read the fine print. That covers two sets of A-frame hoists. I only purchased one, and I could list, lift about 5,000 pounds, which would be enough to, to be able to get the boat off of the trailer. Now the Go Hoist hoist is uh, made out of, all out of metal. The, the top cross members are made out of aluminum, but the rest of it's all steel. Each piece is somewhere around 48 to 52 inches long, and they all assemble together to build a hoist that will lift something essentially 12 feet off the ground. The hoists have feet that go on the bottom, and they can be uh, reinforced with chains to prevent the legs from spreading. On each side of the hoist is a ratchet mechanism, a hand crank. It doesn't require any power or hydraulics or anything like that. It's simply a, a ratchet cranking mechanism on a steel cable, and that's what raises the harness to actually lift the boat. It was easy to assemble and it's pretty robust. One guy can definitely do it himself. Now I used the hoist to lift the bow of the boat, and at the stern, while it was sitting on the trailer, I used several boat stands to prop up the stern of the boat. You can see the bow comes off the 
trailer and the stern is supported now entirely by the jack stands. And as I keep raising everything, I'm eventually able to get the trailer out from underneath the boat. It's not a complicated procedure, but you do have to take your time. And you really got to pay attention to what you're doing because you're dealing with very, very heavy items. If you're not careful, you can get hurt. This week, we have a question from Mr. Lil Baby. Mr. Baby is from uh, Bakersfield, California, and he wants to know, this restoration is taking a long time. Do you have any other boats that you've restored that you could show us? Why, yes, I do. If you check out my YouTube channel, you'll see a restoration for a 1973 22-foot sailing boat and it's a little bit faster. 